In some of my early YouTube videos, I show building a heat riser with metal on the inside. This would work out fine in really awful rocket mass heaters that never get to a healthy temperature, but would be a disaster for any rocket mass heater that gets good and hot. Steel is liquid at 2600 degrees Fahrenheit, and there have been far too many people building excellent rocket mass heaters where the interior steel does not last. Therefore, never use steel in the burn tunnel or heat riser. There's still some debate about using steel in the wood feed, but the design would need to mitigate the possibility of overheating. Steel outside the riser has been universally fine. A perlite and clay riser, like this, can be formed with a cardboard tube interior that burns out or with a metal interior that is designed to be slid out before heat is put to the riser. At the 2015 Innovators event, Peter Vandenberg built two rocket mass heaters that fit into a barrel. When he showed me his creations, I felt the need to talk to him about his design choices. Now, it looks like you've got a bunch of steel over here for your wood feed. Mm, just, just that this length. And the hole in front is connected to the pitch channel at the back. There's another U at the back, lower than this. And the uh, air which is going into the pitch channel is entering along the perimeter of this tube. So this tube is actively cooled. So it won't burn up so fast. Okay. That's the idea. That's the idea. Okay. More questions? Well, I imagine Probably. so. I mean, mostly what, I'm, what I want to do is I just wish to express, I really hope that that works, that it doesn't burn out that metal because no. We've got a pretty massive campaign saying stop putting metal there. Yeah. Because it's yeah. pretty much a universal failure. The other thing is that we tried a metal design two years ago. Me and too. the problem that we had Four with the metal is that it, especially with blackened metal, is that it absorbs heat and starts to create a competing chimney. So, wait a minute. The metal piece is that high. Underneath there, there's the tunnel. And the... Um, the thing is, I started with uh, J-tube heaters this size and uh, of just steel and the piece which burns out fastest was uh, about two inches above the floor of the burn tunnel, the sides of the feed tube, low. So that is now a piece of... Uh, All right. Mm -hmm. The 8 inch system mm -hmm. that we did mm -hmm. that was a disaster. Yeah. Uh, we figured it was part of it was because we had a, a steel tube in the wood feed. Mm -hmm. And it was also kind of like what you're doing here. We're trying to keep the steel out of, like, we're, what, what we thought was is like, mm -hmm. oh, all the fire is down here and then it goes that way. Mm -hmm. But we think that why it failed is, is that while the fire is down here, it's radiating heat and radiating light which the dark color of the steel was absorbing. Mm -hmm. And then that's what warmed up the whole steel thing and was starting to create May I guess around the steel tube was also insulation, right? That is true. So that it, does it. it heated yeah, up it. endlessly and it burned out. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. This one is cool. Uh, and now I'm thinking that with a four inch system, it looks like this is four, is that right? Yeah that first of all you're not going to have you're not going to be burning nearly as much wood so you're probably not going to have it be as hot measured around thousand c at the bottom of the feed tube not as hot you think we're scaling the fire down so it's not as hot Mm, not, not, not entirely so true. Okay. How well do, it looks like you've got some kind of screw here that's holding it yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the screws made out of? Stainless steel. 
I kind of think that with material like this, it's possible you go to put the screw in and suddenly the screw is stripping. It didn't really uh, get a, it like kind of chewed to, up the you material. Have to, you have to turn, uh, uh, turn them in by hand, not with an, uh, in this material with these screws. But I used the power driver for that one and it was perfect. So now what temperature do you believe is the hottest point in here? Around 1200 C, which means about 2200, 2, uh, something okay. like that. That's what I've measured. Yeah, I think it's going to spall mm. instead of melt. Spalling is normal. Right. You know why spalling is happening? Oh, I'm, I'm open to this. I don't okay. know. Okay. Spalling is actually um, rusting, oxidization. Okay. So there is still oxygen in the gases which come up, comes up. Mm -hmm. And combined with a high temperature and a low carbon environment, okay. that's, that's the point. Okay. The, uh, the, um, the oxygen will extract carbon from the steel. Well, all right. So it's an oxidization process. process. Short vent short uh, for rust kind of rust i mean it doesn't like turn orange rust right no 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 it's, but it's, it, it kind of turns like a light gray and flakes off it flakes off it, rapidly it, it's it's getting thicker it's expanding actually it's not magnetic anymore you can't weld on it and all that sort of things but now what temperature does that have it needs so it needs no. the temperature and it needs oxygen and low carbon environment okay and then you got that and it will happen uh, around seven or eight hundred c and then it starts so it doesn't need to be very very hot to do that okay if it was steel lined then that steel would be exposed to something on the order of 1800 to 2000 degrees fahrenheit yeah. And then that steel would spall and it would, it, it, yes. would, it would destroy in this 4-inch system, which is running a lot cooler than some of our 8-inch systems. Mm, maybe. Okay. Go on. Go on. Okay. And so, um, I, and then the thing is, is that, of course, the heat comes out of here, it hits the top of the barrel, which immediately cools it tremendously. And because it's much, much cooler, then it's going down on the sides. Mm -hmm. And so, now the stuff that's going down here i mean we've got steel bars up here mm. and we've got some steel right here but that's fine this steel is going to be fine because once this heat comes up hits the top and cools it tremendously mm. then that's going to be able to um this stuff is, is at no danger whatsoever it's too cool for mm. it to spawn uh, or also, melt or anything if you like this sort of thing come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about rocket mass heaters homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Mm -hmm.